Hello! This video will show you how to seal reaction plates with aluminium seals in order to submit samples to the national genomics infrastructure. It will also show common issues during plate sealing. First, we'll look at how to seal plates if you have a plate sealer, which is a piece of plastic with a sturdy but rounded edge. The aluminium seals you get together with your plates are covered in the back with a brown protective paper. On either side of the seal, there is a perforation which will help to remove the protective paper and will leave non-sticky wings once the plate is sealed. Start by carefully pulling away the protective paper about two-thirds, making sure you don't touch the sticky side. Turn the seal so that the sticky side faces the plate. Place the seal in a way that the perforation is along the edge of the plate. Try to place it as straight as possible. Press the seal down on the sticky side, then remove the protective seal by pulling it over the other edge of the plate. There should now be non-sticky wings on both sides. Slightly press the seal down. Take the plate sealer and firmly pull it over the plate from left to right and then from top to bottom. Then assure that the edge rows and columns are sealed properly by pulling the sealer over those rows specifically. You should see clear round marks for every individual well. If you're unsure of the sealing, pull the sealer again over the plate. Not every lab has a plate sealer. However, there is an easy way to seal a plate using the protective paper. As before, Pull away the protective paper about two-thirds without touching the sticky side. Place the seal with the perforation located along the edge of the plate, press down on the seal and pull the protective paper over the other edge of the plate. The protective paper has a glossy and a dull side. Wrap the paper around your index finger with the dull side facing outwards. Make sure there are no wrinkles. Then firmly push your finger down and move over each well, starting with the edge columns and rows. Make sure you see a clear indentation for each individual well. Now I will show you how to place the barcode label. If the barcode is added after the sealing, lift the wings up. Your plate has to be dry and at room temperature. Remove the barcode label, then make sure that the plate is oriented with the A1 position to the top left. With that plate orientation, place the barcode on the short right side of the plate and press down firmly. Following, you will see common mistakes when using plate seals. If you want to change a single well content, it is tempting to unseal a part of the plate and reattach the seal. As you can see, resealing a plate with the same seal causes wrinkles that can't be removed even if you follow the correct procedure. This can lead to unsealed wells and eventually can cause sample evaporation or cross-contamination between wells. The chance for cross-contamination is even bigger when an entire plate is resealed. The wings on the plates do serve a purpose. First, removing the wings can cause rupture of the foil, which can lead to individual samples not being fully sealed. Further, if you remove the wings, we will have issues to remove the seal prior to library preparation. The same is true if the protective paper of the wings is removed and the wing is glued to the plate. Now 
Now some common mistakes when following the plate sealing instructions for the first time. In this example, the seal is placed quickly without making sure that it is oriented correctly. The seal sticks to the plate and is then removed and readjusted. This can cause cross-contamination of your samples. Finally, the seal is not pressed down properly. Consequently, you don't see individual wells and there are wrinkles in the aluminium seal. The next problem can arise when more than one plate is submitted by post. The wells of our plates are designed so that unused clean plates can be stacked. Be aware that the plate seal can easily perforate it by another plate sitting on top when pressure is applied during transport. Avoid this by stacking them seal to seal or placing some cardboard between plates.